Okay. Mm. It is World Mental Health Awareness Day today. I've come down to my favourite park here in Dublin, St. Anne's Park, and I wanted to take a second to chat to you guys about something that is very near and dear to my heart. Even if you feel like you don't know anybody right now who's suffering with depression, I hope you'll take these tips, store them somewhere in the back of your mind, somewhere safe, and in the future, if you ever come across somebody who you think is going through a bit of a dark time and needs your love and support, I hope that you'll use these tips then. If you do find this information useful, I really hope that you'll share it with your friends and family. You can share it on Instagram using this icon. You can, I think you can like copy the link as well if you wanna share it in your WhatsApp group and stuff like that. It's the three little dots down at the end of the Instagram screen. I wanted to start off by saying that depression can come in all different shapes and sizes and some days are better than others. If you have a feeling that somebody close to you is going through depression, there are a couple of things that you can look out for to find out. Hello, how's it morning. going? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm hiding underneath the trees. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the first thing is an increase in feelings of hopelessness or a lot of negative thoughts. How can I concentrate when I've got dog walking past me? Oh God, okay, okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Someone who is feeling depressed might feel like nothing is going right, nothing is ever gonna get better, and there's nothing that they can do to improve their lives. You might find that they are losing interest in their hobbies and their daily tasks. All of a sudden, they might not get pleasure from social activities or cooking or running, something that they usually used to love, they just might not be feeling it anymore. Number three is that there might be a sudden increase or decrease in their weight. Number four is feelings of frustration or anger. They might just seem like they have a really bad temper and that everything is getting on their nerves. They may have a loss in energy. So for example, they are feeling really tired or really sluggish. They just don't want to do anything. They're exhausted all the time. There are so many signs of depression. That's only a few of them, but I think that they're kind of the main ones that you can spot quite easily. Now, let's talk about some of the ways that you can help. The biggest tip I can give you is to listen. It's as simple as that, and I cannot emphasize it enough. If somebody is going through a hard time or they're going through depression, most of the time, they don't need your advice. They just need your love and your support. Your presence alone could really change somebody's day. Sometimes they just need a shoulder to cry on or someone just to hear them out. All you have to do is just be patient and let your loved one know that you are there for them. The second thing I'll say is that it's really important to acknowledge it. Don't pretend like it's not happening. This might sound strange, but sometimes I think that we don't even want to believe that our loved one is going through depression. We have so much love in our hearts for them that we only want to see them happy. We want to see them succeed. We would never want to think of them going through something like this. But it is so important that you acknowledge it and that you don't ignore it. If you do, that's only going to make them feel like you don't understand them, like they're even more alone and that their problem isn't big enough for you to help them solve. On a similar note, I'd say don't downplay it. This is one of the biggest things, one of the hardest things that they're probably ever gonna go through in their life. Saying things like, you're fine. It's all in your head. Look, we all go through stuff like this. Jesus, are you still feeling down? Those kind of phrases are gonna make your loved one feel like it's their fault that they feel that way and that they're lazy or weak for not feeling better sooner. And I know that all you wanna do is help them, but you need to know that you can't fix them. I remember when I was a teenager, I had two close friends of mine who were going through depression at different stages. And back then, I did not understand. I couldn't comprehend what was going on inside their mind. And I always, always tried to fix them. And the more I did that, the more frustrated I got with them and with myself, and the more frustrated they got with me. It was not helping. Having gone through depression myself in my mid-twenties, I know now more than ever that nobody else can fix you. You are the only person who has the power to get out of the darkness. This is something that you need to do for yourself, but the love and support from the people around you, that is what's gonna speed up the process and that can really turn a dark day bright again. Whoop, a little bit of rain on ya. 
Am I making that worse? Probably. Okay, so I think the next question is, how can you show your support? It's really as simple as telling them that you care about them and letting them know that you're there for them. But if you're not 100% sure how to start that conversation, here are a couple of sentences that I really think are gonna help you. This camera is so lopsided. Anyway, <laughs> you can say things like this. I've noticed you seem a little down lately. Or, I wanted to check in with you because I've noticed some differences in you lately. I'm squatting here, getting a leg workout. <laughs> Those kinds of sentences alone can get the conversation started. If they want to talk about it, that's their chance to open up. If they don't want to talk about it, at least they know that you're there for them. Other questions you could ask could be, when did you start to feel this way? Do you think something may have triggered it? How can I support you through this? By asking questions like that, you're leading the conversation without being too invasive or too opinionated. <laughs> and just know that kind words go a really long way. Here's a few examples of how you can let them know that you care. I want you to know that you're not alone in this. I'm right here whenever you need me. I may not understand exactly how you feel, but I really care about you and I'm here if you need help to get through this. You are really important to me. I'm gonna wrap it up there because the rain is starting to come down a little bit heavier now. If you are going through a hard time at the moment, I hope you know that you're not alone. And I know it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but you are so much stronger than the darkness that you're going through. And I really hope that someday you can look back on this phase in your life and smile, knowing that you got through that darkness. As I said earlier, guys, I really hope that you will share this information on with friends and families and loved ones. And I hope that you'll start having those conversations with people. It's getting windy. <laughs> I hope you'll start having those conversations with people in your life if you are feeling a little bit worried or concerned about them. Mental health is such a funny thing where nobody wants to talk about it. But just opening up and letting people know that you care about them it changes everything, guys. It really, really, really does. <sighs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll see you later. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not walking away from my camera. <laughs> Bye, guys. Who's that girl? La, 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 la. She's that girl. <laughs>